Hello everyone, welcome back to another Adobe Premiere Pro 2021 tutorial. In this one, I'm going to show you how to add text, and I'm going to show you how to do it very, very quickly. So let's make it nice and simple for you guys. So uh, if you're new to Premiere Pro, yeah, stick along, let's do it. All right, the first step, as you can see here, is I've dragged and dropped some footage into my timeline. I've dropped in the project panel, and then you drag and drop it into the timeline. And here we have a nice, cute little puppy dog, and he's up to no good. Oh, yes cute little fella. All right, cool. The next step, and this is the big one, is you want to, I'm in the editing workspace, but you could probably do it from any workspace, but I'll click on the editing workspace and you're going to see here, you're going to see the toolbar. At the bottom of the toolbar, there's something called a type tool. Now I'm going to move the playhead to the beginning because that's where I want my type. I'm going to left click on the type tool. Then I'm going to left click on the program panel here right in the middle where I want to drop my text and it's going to say I just left click hello puppy all right Oop. let's see if I can spell exclamation mark there we go now you're gonna there's a few things here that I got to show you if you're new to the text game so first off um, I'm going to center this text so I'm going to switch from my type tool back to my selection tool and I'm going to click on it so I can move it around as you can see here all right cool also, up in the top left here, you're going to see effect controls, and you're going to see a chevron, and it's going to say text, and then whatever your text is. You can drop this down, and this is where the magic happens. Also, if you do not have your effect controls panel open for whatever reason, go to Window and make sure there is a check mark besides effects here and effect control, so that way you can always follow along with me. Quickly, I'll show you the basics. Um, I have used Poppins as the last text that I used. You will probably see Minion Pro as the text. That's the default one, at least currently. So you can basically just click on this triangle and change your text as you see fit. I've got Poppins Black selected, but I could switch it to Poppins Regular. And you can see that it changed right on the screen there, right there. So let's go with that. All right, cool. Also, if you're a Photoshopper or if you understand uh, how fills and strokes work and all that good stuff, you can make some changes. So right now, I've selected the fill to be white. But if I wanted this to be red for whatever friggin' reason, I can't even think of a good reason, but let's do it anyway. I would just, just double-click on the, the rectangle there. That's not a square. And boom, our text is red. Same thing with stroke. Right now, I've got a black stroke, but it comes with no stroke by default. So if you don't want a stroke on it, Fine, if you want a stroke, and let's say you want to make the stroke white, double click on it, just drag and drop it to white, and boom, we've got a red and white uh, candy cane looking stroke there. And the same thing goes with background and shadow, as you can see fit. As you see, uh, you can decrease and increase the size of the stroke. So if you want to go with some weird looking effects, go nuts. Totally up to you. But this is how you add text, and it's very, very simple. Um, a couple other things I will show you here. Uh, let's see, you can change the duration of the text. So, right now, I've got it set. It goes from 0 to 0029. So it's basically one second's worth of text. But if I want it to be longer, let's say maybe I want it to be from here to here. I can make the text longer. I can even go ahead and then create a second piece of text. So let's say at this part where he's staring at himself in the mirror, I wanted to create another text I would just left click on that and then I would be like what are you looking looking at all right cool right we've got some more here so I would do that and then maybe I would put that for two seconds as well so there really are a lot of options here I'm gonna left click on it and then maybe I'll maybe I'll put it right over top let's put them right over the top of him let's say that would go here and then if we go back to the beginning here we go. It would start, and it's in yellow here, so it's kind of coming through the RAM, so it's so not quite perfect. Uh, and then you see here that we've got text popping in and out at the exact place that we want, at the time that we want, and that's it. And if I wanted to create more text, if I want to change the position like I showed you, you can just go in and change it. It's really, really simple. It's really, really easy to use, guys. That's how you create text in Premiere Pro 2021 in seconds. Thanks for watching. Ton more stuff coming up. Stay tuned.